Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, Not Scratch. This is another website to code. It's called MIT App Inventor. And we can actually play the app we made on our Samsung phone. So, if you don't have a account, don't worry. So, you want to click on Create Apps on the top right. So, after you click create it apps it'll pop out a screen and I'll let you create an account but I already have one and this is going to be what we're gonna make today which is mole mash a game where you smash moles basically we have to do a little bit programming it's kind of like scratch but it's not so so you want to go to my projects you want to start new project you definitely don't have any so you want to name it Mole Mash, or what you, whatever you want to name it. I'll name it Mole Mash with an underscore, because I already have a Mole Mash. So if you click on it, it'll just pop out the screen. And first, you want to drag out a, you want to click Layout, you want to drag out Horizontal Arrangement. Actually, no. Um, just click, click draw an animation, draw a can, dra drag a canvas, and click fill print in the height and the width, which will make the canvas be full screen. And then you want to drag three, four, eight image sprites onto the canvas. Make sure image sprites can only be on canvases or else they won't work. So I want to drag eight image sprites and then you want to rename the first one whole oh sorry whole one click ok this one's whole two and so on and so on okay so you should have whole one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then let me see. You want to actually um you want to change X and Y to the numbers I give. I already measured the numbers beforehand to make it easier for you guys. Also, um, I'm just going to upload whole. You can get this in the link in the description below. And I'm just going to upload the whole image to every single whole to make it look like a whole. So it's kind of like a sprite in Scratch, but instead of like... Actually, it's quite actually the same. Then you want to set whole to the third one, too. You want to change X and Y to my numbers. Also, if you guys have any mechanical issues, um, please comment down below. I can help. Um, and because this is kind of hard, and it's hard to troubleshoot, the numbers and like the blocks if you've placed it at the same time if you place it in the right place so I mean it's it's pretty hard it's pretty hard um make sure to tell me if you like this better or scratch because scratch is easier and this is kind of like harder than scratch but you can actually play this on your phone, which is going to be like super fun and better than Scratch because you can only play Scratch on on your computer. But the thing is, for this one, you you must have a Samsung of advice. That's like the main problem. But I'll talk about an alternative later. First, let's let's focus on making this, okay? I don't. Know.
I don't know. Hole eight. We're almost done. Almost done. You can slow this down if you want to make this to catch up. You always, you always want to make the Z for the holes too, because Z is like scratch go to front. So like, so if you 3D it, three would be in front of the two. So we want to make now the background color green. I just like green. I mean, it's, it still looks like mole mash. You know, drag another image sprite, and then you want to name it. Mole. I'm gonna upload the image. So if you click the pit, actually I'll change the X to 131 and Y to that, and then I'll change Z to two. Okay, picture. I'll upload the file quickly. Okay, I got it. Uh, okay, yeah, there's the mole. You can get this. You can the description below. So, um, you want to click user interface, let me see, actually you want to click layout, drag a horizontal arrangement, put it right there, and then you want to click user interface, drag a, out a label, a label is like, kind of like a sprite, that you can change the text, you want to name it score label. Score, score, score label like that. For next one, you want to name it score, score. Oh, sorry, no, score value label. Score value label. Okay, and then you want to click score label. You want to change it to score. Oops score and then semicolon I'm not sure if it's called semicolon I'm not sure and change it to zero it's like score zero and then I'm just gonna make it font monospace I just like monospace it looks more like gaming and then background color let me I'm just gonna change it to black and then I have to fill parent to make it core. Wait, what? Fill parent. Okay, okay. And score label, I'm going to change it to green to make it cooler. And then I'll change the screen to background color to blue. Like that. Yeah, it's pretty good. You can change it yourself. I don't care. I just like, I just like this better. Now you want to drag a button. A button is like a thing you press and I'll do some commands after you do some block do some programming. Now this is just like decoration. It's kind of like decoration, but it's not. So you want to drag the button to the to the bottom and you want to change the text to restart. So whenever the user clicks restart, you can set the score to zero and try everything again. So I just wanted to make it, I just, I'm just gonna make it cooler for green, yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. Now, now, mm, let me see, I forgot. Oh yeah, yeah, is it in media? Oh, it's in sensors. Clock. It's the clock. So the clock is like the timer or the time or something in Scratch. So that's like when the when it's like in Scratch when green flag clicked, the timer like starts one, two, three, four, like kind of like that. So you want to click. This is kind of like same procedure is kind of like define in scratch so you want to define move mole this action and then this in initialized local is kind of like the variable so we want the variable current hole we want to set it to create pick random list and then 
variables you want to get current whole. Oh, wait, I don't think I initialized the thing. Yeah, I didn't initialize current whole. So initialize current global something is like to start to make the variable work. And actually, no, not call move mall. So you want to go to mall, and then you want to scroll down and call move mall to move to. And then, if you scroll down, click any components. Click that little plus sign. Image sprite, height, and width, y and x this is like its x and y coordinates of component um current hole oh sorry wait global hole it's actually current it's actually current hole cool. hole okay i know this is pretty bit this video is pretty long but it's okay. I mean, it's fun, you know. Then we have to get set the score to zero, of course, first. And then this is like to define, update, score this procedure, this this action. You want to drag out. Is it in score label? So you score value label. So that's like the zero that's in on our designer thing. So you want to set the text to score because get global get get global score because that's like the score. But now we have to f we have to fix something. So when the mole timer dot timer that means like to call mole that means like when the timer starts you have to call mole this action and when the mole is touched which means it's like touched um we have to set the score value label to plus one because it's like plusing one point so plus so get global hole remember it's like a variable and you want a plus one every single time you hit the mole and you want to call move mole to make the mole move somewhere else instead of like going into one single place every, every single time and when screen one is initialized, it just means when the green flag is clicked in Scratch, if you want to make this easier. Add items to the list. So you want to drag about eight, because we have eight holes um, the mole is going to go to. So you want to drag, and this is one more. Okay, like that. And then you want to go to the bottom and then pick hole one and then you can just like duplicate them I'm just gonna do the first one first okay so you have to duplicate like that so hole three oh I I'm just gonna close the sound because it's too loud too 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 loud Okay, we're almost there. Five. Six. Seven. I'm sorry I haven't been posting videos lately. Only because... Because... You know... There's problems. Family problems. So, I'm gonna forget about it. Okay, now, so for each item in whole, 
in list that's like creating a list of places the mole is going to go to you want to get global hole and then you want to um let me see is it in here yeah it's here image sprite so you want to set it to picture image sprite image right picture of component let me just duplicate actually um let me see let me think about this um um okay so you want to drag out variables and you want to drag another get get global whole you want to of component global whole and then you want to create empty list in initializing global whole so I forgot to leave that I forgot to fill in that to whole PNG which is like setting like picture whole PNG and then procedure you want to call move mole of course when you press the green screen the green start the the this the green flat is what i mean i think that's it yeah let me see is there something else oh yeah yeah, yeah. we forgot the button the restart button so um you want to set score value text to, of course, zero. Okay, I'll try it out, and I'll troubleshoot. Okay, I tried it out. There's one problem, is that we want to change Z to three. Because remember I said three is have, has to be, oh wait, what? Three has to be in front of two. So, also, another problem is that when you're setting, let me see, when you're set, it's this part, yeah. So when you're setting the text, don't want to get global score. You want to instead, at, you want to like make it score, value, label, text. I think that would change it. Okay, so the way you... Try it out is by clicking connect and you want to click AI companion and you have like a code to scan. And if you don't have a Samsung device, you have to go to screen, you have to click connect and below AI companion, there's something called the emulator. And then if you click it, it's gonna say you can't connect. And then after that, you have to click get help, download the emulator, and then try it again. Okay, so it turns out it worked. Um, if you have any questions, you can comment down below. Make sure to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah.